So in this video, we have two very popular scan tools in the market, the latest version 2023 fully updated. And I had to make this video because I really wanted to show you how amazing this X tool is compared to this launch. This launch retails between 280-ish to $300. Sometimes they have sales. It depends where you buy it, but it's always between 80 to hundred dollars more than the X tool. And the X tool is about a buck 80. And I think it's an incredible deal for the capability and the features that this scan tool offers compared to the launch so, so both of these scan tools are android based but with x tool out the box you get android 10 and that's significant because for those who don't understand the vast majority of scan tools in the market today are running outdated versions of android like 5.0 to save money so for this to have android 10 you know at this price point is incredible value for your money so it's kind of a little bit disappointing with the launch is running 7.0 and you would expect it to have a better version of android especially at this price point and we do have two gigs of ram on both of them they're both quad core processors but we do have the exo clocked at 1.5 and the launch is clocked at 1.1 i believe and in terms of internal storage we only get 16 gigabytes with the launch very disappointing now with the x tool you get 32, much better. So I forgot to mention that the X tool does have a USD data port while the launch doesn't. And a cool feature that I really like about the X tool is that you have the remote control feature here, basically team viewer. You're able to control your scan tool via Wi-Fi with a laptop, or you can even have a professional specialist mechanic anywhere in the world connect to the X tool and give you his professional opinion so one thing i notice about the special functions on the launch it does not have any visual icons while on the x tool you get very good looking icons and as well it does have abs bleeding so you have a total of nine resets on the x tool and a total of eight on the launch so one important thing to note with the x tool cable it's actually a foot longer the total length is five feet while on the launch is only four foot long and the diameter of the cable on the x tool is actually thicker so it does feel very premium and i believe they use the same obd2 cable on their more premium scanners as well so i'm installing some high performance cooling fans to the vehicle what the x tool allows me to do is to monitor how many amps are being pulled by the motor so if it's pulling too many amps it can cause a fire so I have the launch connected to the vehicle. It's on my lap. It does not mount very well with the steering wheel, unlike the X tool. So to get to live data, we have to go through diagnostic for Honda. All right, so we'll go to system selection, go to engine. All right, so this is very disappointing. Unlike the X tool, where with the X tool you can scroll all the way down all the way up it's one giant page with the launch it's individual pages I think there's up to 10 or 12 per page and you have to refresh and here's another thing that's very disappointing so you can only combine what's per page so you can't go through multiple pages and combine you know up to four right you get four um, selection in terms of a uh, data that you can combine with the x tool you can combine eight so let me show you real quick i can only combine what's in the page so it will not let me refresh it will not let me go through another page whatsoever so that's very disappointing very limiting device so as you can see the x tool overall is superior in every aspect hardware capability software and value for money so it's a win-win all the way and this sucks guys i have to say this is a bad experience you know and there's no search bar and here's another thing i have to exit out what i'm doing all the way back and go to settings if i want to change the brightness of the display very annoying with the X tool, I have a notification status bar so I can scroll down and adjust the brightness without stopping what I'm doing. And it gets much worse from here. So let's go back to live data or data stream. All 
All right, so we're back. All that just to change the brightness of the display. Once again, very annoying. And there's no real-time graphs on here. Very disappointing. If you want graphs, you know, individual graphs, you have to screen record and you have to go back to the screen recording so it's not real time. And I will show you guys that in just a second. So you can only combine four and that's real time with the launch, which is much better. You have individual graphs up to eight and you can combine up to eight real time. So when you screen record, you get this ugly prompt all on your display, taking a lot of real estate away. And let me see. It's very annoying. So I'm going to let it record for a little bit so I can show you how to get to the graphs. You have to exit out what you're doing. And you go to data, I believe. And again, there's no search bar at all. Here we go. So here's the graph, guys, from the screen recording. And you have to press play. See, that's very um, limiting, disappointing. No real-time graphs at all. Yeah, so there's no way to send the screen recording whatsoever. So the only thing you can send out via email, I'm not sure you can send it through Bluetooth, is a diagnostic report or the health report on the launch. That's pretty much it. It's very, very limiting. Uh, I highly, highly suggest that you get the X-Tool over the launch all day. So I have the X-Tool connected to the vehicle. The auto scan works great. But under diagnosis, I have my vehicle already saved. Under my vehicles, you do have an option to search your vehicle through country. You have a search bar there as well. If you want to type it in or you can enter your VIN manually or use the auto scan feature from here as well. So there was a recent update for Hondas and Acuras version 12.00. I did take a screenshot. So this update includes a new action test function of the electric power steering system and repair of the self-diagnostic function of the instrument system and repair of the problem of the airbag code clearing failure and optimizing of the automatic scanning speed. Let's check that out. So with this new update for Honda's and Acura's version 12.00, the automatic scanning speed should be very fast. So let's see how fast it scans my entire system, which includes the engine automatic transmission abs srs and the bcm so i am currently using a stopwatch and honestly i don't even think it's going to surpass not even a minute it's scanning the system very fast so it scanned the entire system under 34 seconds that is absolutely amazing so one of many things that I do like about the X-Tool, it mounts very well to the steering wheel, unlike the launch. And I do like that I can go to diagnose straight from the automatic scan when it's completed. So you can't really do that with the launch, but with the X-Tool, you can. So I'm going to start the car up. And I love this. There's no single pages or in terms of the live data, you know, it's not per page and it has to refresh. Um, from here, I can choose anything I want. I can even look for it. I have a search bar, which is amazing because there's a lot of information. If you just want to look for something, you can just type it in, automatically selects it for you. So I have the X tool connected to the vehicle. I have up to eight real time individual graphs, which you can't do on the launch whatsoever. So right now I have the engine cooling temperature sensor 
and it's at 190 so once it goes over 200 the fans kick on and i'm able to see how many amps are being drawn by the high performance radiator fans and i can see all this from the eld sensor which means electric load detector so the car running is about 22 amps average and when the fans kick on i believe it's about 48 amps on the average so you deduct 22 so that's around 25 to 26 amps so that's pretty good you know that's not overloading the system that's acceptable it's a little more than the oem fans and i will have a separate video on that very soon but overall i'm very happy that i'm able to run these fans so let me give you my final thoughts i'll start with the x tool m plus very advanced very easy to use i like the user interface much more than the launch and it does support the five gigahertz wi-fi band while the launch doesn't support it and overall, I was able to accomplish and more with the X tool and with the launch, I was not able to accomplish what I wanted to use it for. And I just feel like if you want it to be better or more user friendly, or more capable, you have to buy the more expensive launch devices. So I highly recommend the X tool. It's incredible value for your money, as you guys seen in the video.